already. Jeez. I know, right? Well, this, will this, no, will no, this not, reset, you. not hurry up. <laughs> no, I was chips, and it's just taking its sweet ass time. What? What's going on? Oh, I'm trying to update World of Warships, and it just. Uh, what server you play on? Yeah. U.S. Uh, North American, I think. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. I it it has a it's I haven't updated it in forever. It's like oh, I'll just update it. It's just lagging the whole computer up and just kind of. Let me know when it's up because it's been a while. Oh, it's it, it's not gonna be tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed before it gets finished. What level of ships do you have, do you remember? Oh, I think my highest is a tier 5. If maybe, if that. No, it's tier 5. Ladies and gentlemen, um, amongst all the talk of, uh, of uh, warships, battleships, things that float on water, what about the skies? There's one thing that rules the skies. The gunship. The chopper. The chop the, the helicopter with guns, if you will. Tonight I'll be playing that, Cobra but... Command. Cobra! Sadly not that awesome. <laughs> no. I, I would assume no. Steven Power, rank general. Branch Army Mission. Save the hostages! Destroy enemy strongholds! Good luck! So, go and kill everything. Come on, Got it. Ships. Stage 1, Sumatra. 20 hostages. You must save them all through the jungles and marshes. Enemy fortresses are hidden underground. Secure the fortresses, fortresses to refuel and collect weapons. You can invite you can invite friends in World of Warships. Like I said, I'm not gonna get on it tonight. Once it's done updating, I'm probably gonna go to bed. <laughs> um, I'll just send, like, maybe friend and invite, maybe. um, it's gonna be uh, EISHTMO. Just like it's spelled on um, the whatever the chat thing is. Yeah, this thing. So folks, uh, for, those wondering, me just, game. for those just wondering what kind of game this is, think of this as a, uh, as a more involved game of Choplifter. No, 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 this reminds me of a game. What the hell is that game called? Silkworm! Reminds me of Silkworm. You know, I have thought of that one too. The problem with Silkworm is you really have to play it two-player. It's the only real way to play that game. And you have to hit it from, from both air and ground. Yeah. I mean, I think I've beaten it from, with one or the other, but, I mean, really, if you're gonna play it, you gotta play it two-player. For those not, not in the know as to what Silkworm is, Silkworm was a, was a uh, techno coin-op where you could play as both a, a helicopter and a jeep. And it was a uh, it was it was a two D shmup, but it was more than that. It, it was a shmup called Silkworm. Well, it, it was, was also on the on the NES. That's the way I remember. That's the way I knew about it. I have a copy. Yeah, eventually got ported to the to the NES, and it was it was all right too. Yeah, I'm back. You are back. Oh, there you are. I have obtained the following new weapons by securing the enemy depot. Turbo engines. Dual guns. Interesting how your uh, helicopter can use the weapons from your enemy's weapons. Hmm. 
makes me wonder. Hmm. So it's like a so it's like a modular type of uh, aircraft. No, I'm more thinking that, um... Come on. The ladder is right there. Just go to it. I can't get any closer, otherwise I'll, I'll crash into the wall. Why you do this? Why you do this game? Just stay put. It's just like Jackal. You just stay put. Get where you need to be and wait for him. There you go. That just reminds me of coming across a... a game... Con one of the fucking play game consoles where they modified the game Jackal and made it a bad, bad version involving a tank. And in another game, use this graphics or jackal for a strange racing game. <laughs> How strange are we talking? Not really that strange of a racing game, but but your main car is, but the car you use to drive is the is the is the right for from jackal. Okay, the scrolling motion on this game is really annoying the piss out of me. Yeah, you, you Just do move. smooth scrolling? What the hell? You could move faster, but no, the game has to catch up and it's just not moving that fast. Hmm. Very strange. This is 88. You think they, you, you know they had this kind of down by that point. I don't know why this is making me think about about something I've been noticing a lot, but because I know this is an older game and for some reasons, then I don't know why it's making me think of something that ha that happened in the recent time, more or less. Ugh. Oh come on! Games bugging you to bugging you. Oh no, how slow it's being. No, no, I'm talking. It's one of those. It, it the way the game does it. You're on fire, Reese. Yes, I am. No, you're not on a fire. You're dead. You're crashing. You're crashing. He likes to download the update, unpack the update, install the update, download the next update, unpack the update. Install the update and it does it over and over again. And when you don't update it repeatedly, it takes freaking forever. That's not quite what I was thinking of, but what I was thinking. Yeah, of... no, no, you were talking about the game that Chris is playing, but no, I'm, I'm talking about something else. So there you go. My something else was not really connected to the game Reese is playing, but was something I've been thinking about and wondering. Why are there so many people who seem to be direct fans of the console to the point where they will lie, misrepresent, and bash, bash PC players to no end? Because they oh, need to security. feel they need to feel superior to someone else. It's the internet. I mean, it's the same reason the why the, your question. 
It's the same reason why daytime talk shows were so popular, like uh, Springer, Sally Jesse. They, they needed to feel superior to, to at least one other person. Yeah, but with those shows, they brought in strange people, not necessarily lie the shit out of it. Which also reminds me, Peter Gabriel made a song all about those kinds of shows. Where are you taking the guys you supposedly rescued? Into the heart of battle. You, you are shot. insane. Shouldn't you be dropping them off first before you be doing stuff dangerous? You know, one would think, but that's just not how this game works. That's what they did in Jackal, actually. Like, okay, we got, we, we got the passages. Here's the landing pad. Here, drop them off before we go to the boss. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But in this you game, it seems... You secure the enemy depot. You will take the following new weapons. Twin missiles. Woohoo! Yeah, twin missiles, nothing else. Just twin missiles. Ah, better than regular missiles. Any downside to not using the more advanced missile weapons? Probably not. In most games of this era, probably not because they don't give you pros or cons for any weapon. Just just the ones that you get later are always better. And it's always after three that they that the the, the vehicle respawns. So you have to stop what you're doing and go and shoot shit. Yay! Shooting shit. Have you, have you done? Have you collected people? Reese? Huh? I asked, how many times have you collected people? Well, I, I've collected all the hostages. Um, how many of these 20. things have you done? Twenty. There are twenty. 20 dudes? There's supposed to be 20 dudes he's supposed to collect. Okay, there's supposed to be 20. Is this helicopter a, a, a TARDIS or something? Because I don't know a, any real helicopters that can fit 20 people in, in there plus the people flying it. Well, I know the Hind can know. carry quite a few people, but not... Who knows? Where was... where were you last time? Sumatra. Some place called Sumatra, yes. This is supposed to be Indonesia. This looks totally like some random mountain hills. Not anything that you would see in... in Indonesia. Fire! Adam. Boom! Good job. Now everybody's dead and, and you wasted all that time collecting the previous hostages. Alright. They come right back to life.
And when you're on fire, you are you're constantly being dragged downward. You can still land, but you are on fire. Luckily, securing the enemy depot rep repairs me of all my uh, my damage. So I've obtained the following new weapons: super engines and firebomb. Which Freaking is a engine super. Which is a different type of uh, different type of missile. Okay, the tank has, uh, the tank fires heat-seeking missiles. Or homing missiles. Hooray! I know, right? Ain't it awesome? Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Prepare to shoot again. There we go. One, two, three. Okay, that's the case way of counting I've ever heard. I've heard gayer. Oh, and it tells you whenever you've collected enough. It, just, it it's like it, it's like it's saying thank you. It just goes. Uh -uh. Now see, or you can replace it, or hmm. um, so. Crashing doesn't make you have to go back and rescue those people? No. Eh, they're fine. They can shake it off. Then why do we need to rescue them if they can basically survive anything, inclu including a helicopter crash? Well, we need to know how they're able to survive helicopter crashes, obviously. Yeah, I mean, duh. Pause it right there.
And before you say it, no, there is no cause for Boom Shakalaka. Shame. No matter how tempting it sounds. And back to the ruins I go. <laughs> you go back to the ruins. As tempted as I am, I am not going for the firebomb this time. Yeah, that didn't look very good or very useful. Nah. Oh, come on. That rocket took me down in an instant. Here I thought I was safe. Now nah, the only way I'm safe against heat-seeking missiles is to just sit on the ground. Burr, burr. Will re survive the onslaught of jets and anti anti aircraft fire? No! He dies instantly! <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, how does running into a into an enemy soldier blow up a helicopter? Seriously. Simple. Get a suicide death vest on. Indeed. So now I'm fighting. Now I'm fighting Al Qaeda. Okay. Well, that one's got a stinger, so... the end of the depot, you've obtained the final new weapons. Armor and homing missiles. Yay, I have armor. That's nice. This is awesome. That's nice. I'm not sure if that ceiling will actually collapse on top of on top of you the player but uh It does kind of give a feeling of dread, doesn't it? So if by homing missiles they mean fire straight ahead, okay, then yeah, I have homing missiles. I've completed Java. Now I've moved I've moved on to Borneo. Borneo. Twenty-seven hostages. There is a secret weapons factory. Underground. Night has fallen. And the enemy is hiding. Be careful. So, you've been traveling uh, across Indonesia for some reason. I guess. Because Java, Sumatra, and Borneo are all parts of Indonesia. Okay.
Yeah, the pain is starting to come back to me now. This, uh, this mission used to frustrate the shit out of me. Mostly because of that homing missile beacon, uh, homing missile, uh, base? Station? I don't know. Because it would always soften me up before I would get, get shot down by the, by the folks over here. This is Borneo. You can insert any home star runner joke you want because in Strumpet, who gave for attractive people episode 4, Trump Bat, Dangerous 3, the criminal projective, one of the areas you can go to, they call it Strong Borneo. <laughs> And then note I can say the most recent grabbings grabbing from from Telltale is another oldie, the their take on Monkey Island. Tales of Monkey Island series. Oh well I have the special edition for one I yeah, I have three of the Monkey Island. Special edition for one and two, plus the plus the thing created by Telltale. I don't know why three and four are not available on Steam. So needless to say, stage three really uh, ramps up the ramps up the bullshit. Time there was a checkpoint. I'm hoping there's a hostage around here. Up. Uh -huh. 
apparently there's not. Ah, so I can blow the place open, okay. Secure the enemy depot. What do you get this time? Hyper engines, mines, and a ladder. Good, you got something better. But how do you make your engine hyper? I would say you give them a lot of cookies. Um. Or chocolate milk. Sometimes that makes them hyper too. Your engine is not a small kid, Reese. You sure? Yes! I think the milk and the sugar, all the stuff will probably destroy your engine. Did I what? Screw up something. Uh, yeah, I got shot by a guy with a, uh, with a, with a homing missile. Okay. Thank you, the power of auto-clicking. It is a holy power, but it is also a forbidden one. I'm using now to, to do the million dollar cheating, I mean, dealing dollar achievement for for the loading screen simulator. While I'm talking to you and watching your news. Settle down, bud, uh, bud Munch. <laughs> you know that episode is bad because some kid actually tried to replicate that in it and in it with bad results. Yeah, they said it was a five-year-old kid. Why would you let a, your five-year-old kid watch Beavis butt in the first place? Uh, yeah, that, 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 that was the whole point of that one episode about, uh, about TV violence. See, uh, my judge, he actually thinks of these things, too. That's fair. He did end up making a pretty good show about conservatives called King of the Hill, and did a either way too early or a bad attempt for for the left called, I think, the Good Fees or something. I can't remember the title.
Stop nose nose diving, Link. I want to, but I can't. Because gosh darn it, it's so much fun. You're crashing. That's not good, right? Ishimo, back me up on this. Isn't nose diving fun? Sure. <laughs> He's not. I feel like burgers. Whoever you're fighting have way too much time on their hands to build so many underground bunkers. Or whatever these are. Oh, well, you, you might be onto something. I think they are underground bunkers. <sighs> oh, wait. That's not... That nickel plan in the background is not giving me hope that this will... Not giving me hope this won't end badly. Time it! Time it! You did it! Yay, I did it. This is actually a hidden depot. Because why would you ever think to fly inside of a red wall? So I have earned anti-tank guns and homing missiles one. What are they holding me for? I don't know. I do not know, but I am not questioning it now. No sense in it. Mission is completed. Keep going. I think I will. Stage four: the South China Sea. In the first mission, that doesn't say this is in Indonesia. <sighs> when I was a wee little lad, I only got to this mission once. Through the sea and save the hostages at Cal at Kamau. The enemy is proud of their strong fleet.
two, three. Yeah, not just blow up the ship from, from above. There's no reason not to not to really scuttle one. I'm sorry, what was that man? Blow up the ship. Sounds to me. It would be sweet. Beforehand, you if you could before uh, this mission, you could just uh, just breeze on by and avoid fire. Now you're almost uh, kind of kind of forced to fight everybody. Almost. Unfortunately, there was no depot there. There is a depot here. Secured an enemy depot. We what? What, what do we got? Rapid fire homing missiles too. I think I'll stick with the anti-tank guns. At least I know for sure I can fire them quickly. Horrible way to crash. And at this point, yeah. you may as well call, call me Launchpad. Okay, you're Launchpad. Yep, that's me, Launchpad, Launchpad McQuack. Right, so, Mr. McD. Oh, boy. 
Oh my, how many lives am I gonna waste trying to try just trying to do this part? I'm uh I'm kinda worried guys. I think that was it. I heard a arrow kind of sound. Actually, I better make sure. I would make sure if I could stop, if I could stop crashing into the ceiling. Gosh darn these, these uh, sugar hyper engines. All hopped up on chocolate frosted sugar bombs. Yeah, we're, we're done with this section. It, folks this is the last section hey are you excited uh. guy god what does this look like to you guys Aerodrome or something? I think. Super armor. Hey. Um, the hell is this? Insanity Incarnate! At the end of the day, are these hostages really worth it? Yes. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure either. I I'm looking at this, I'm thinking... Okay. They're being sacrificed to Satan at this point. How do you know they're being sacrificed to Satan or... How do you know we're entering entering hell? Uh, because look at it. The, the, the interior of these caves look like nerve endings, and hearts, and internal organs. Did we just basically enter the another alien thing at the end, like Contra? Possibly. Mission 4 is completed. Continue quickly. Stage 5. Siam. There are seven hostages here. 
You must invade Siam from the air, on top of the plateau. Enemy headquarters is just beyond the plateau. Their defenses are strong. You know, I just had to see for myself if there was anything to the left. Turns out, no. There's nothing to the left. <laughs> Except death. Except death and a dead end. I'm fine. Depends on how good you are. You can be just a dead end if you know how to not die. Well, then I don't want to be a dead end anymore now, would it? Um, for most people, a dead end is you can't go f go any further. It's not that you die there. Right, because there are people watching this not knowing what a dead end is. Many people are walking. Well. Um. I'll say nothing. Lightning effect on that game. It's kind of nifty. Thank you for giving certain people seizures. Not a depot. Moving on. However, this is a depot. Three way guns and hyper armor. <laughs> Just cut the super armor. And wasn't there a longer rope? I must have missed something. Don't look at me, I don't know. I don't know either. I think it was a pole, maybe? I don't know. Once again, I'm going back to the anti-tank guns, because they're clearly more effective than three-way. I can't believe I just said that. Can you suit your play style better? Okay. Did we just disturb the ancients? 
Well, now I, I'm starting I, to be scared. I think we did. Actually, I think just being here disturbed the ancients. Who woke up Ryloth? Guys, I keep yelling his name. So annoying. Wonderful, there are faces in the wall. Not creepy at all. There are also fishes on the wall. Bro. Sometimes, a man has to admit that he's been beat. <coughs> so it has to be done, folks. I am using a save state. Okay. I thought you were using save state. And that was all I needed to do. I, th I thought there was more hostages. Uh, okay, whatever. Mission 5 They're completed. Always You've rescued all of the hostages. Now you must take the enemy headquarters. Headquarters success will be difficult. Okay, we have suddenly... We, we have suddenly, uh... We've suddenly uh, flown into a whole different game. You're now in Contra. I don't know. Doesn't feel ripping off aliens enough to be Contra. Can you not blow that thing up? Uh, the faces? Uh, yeah, I just have to know wh where the faces are at. No, I mean the things flying, flinging fireballs. No. It looks like... Oh. I like how you determined it was faster to go backwards. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's creative as hell.
Yeah, the screen has this weird scrolling thing, so... May as well work around it. Um, Mr. Evil Overlord, or whatever the hell you are, um, do you really need, uh, choppers at this point? Because the traps alone are enough. Answer? Russian Evil Overlord. How do you know it's the Evil Overlord? I'm just taking a wild guess here. Well, if it's an ancient evil or maybe an alien that somehow got in here, or maybe it's a demon. A demon who commands a, an army of helicopters and tanks and has captured hostages? At this point, why are you wandering, wandering ruins with this? They have these sort of traps already set up. There has to be some sort of evil entity that's not military base at the end of this. Well, there is a face. Gosh darn and poopy feathers. So wait a second, it remembers how many hit how many times it's been hit? Um oh, okay. Whatever okay. makes it easier. Huh. Wait, that was the final boss? Hooray to this super soldier who never really needed a firearm. Just a really Hooray bitch, to a just a really bitchin' helicopter. Yeah, but I'm sitting here baffled at it. wait. So that was the end? That was kind yes. of anticlimactic. Something better than just a face of strange machine. Great. Thanks for letting us down, game. See you soon. Uh, was... Were they hinting at a sequel? I... <laughs> Yes, but we'll never know for sure if there ever was a sequel. Maybe. With the these days being more like 
The sequel is always a green name. You'll never be sure if it was an act. And on that note, folks, that was Cobra Command for the NES. Strange game. You do find the odd ones, don't you? To be fair, and I, I, do, back I do, and do own it. that. I, I do own Disappointed that game. There's not enough G.I. Joe references if there was a title. Well, it wasn't a G.I. Joe game. I bet sloppy will just hear the name would expect G.I. Yeah, Joe references. Yeah, they would. They would be wrong, clearly. They would. If I if I wanted to, by the way, I could put on the G, the G.I. Joe NES game. That's or, up to or, you. I'm not saying you have the, to. I'm just pointing that out. Or the G.I. Joe Commodore game. Take your pick. I don't care. <laughs> I'll think about it. 